Hello there. I'd like to welcome you to Ceramics at Solano Community College with me, your uh, professor for this semester, Mark Lancet, and we will be working together either in hand building or wheel throwing. Occasionally, one of you or two, you might find yourself doing a little bit of both. But um, for instance, there is a time where you need to embrace both methodologies um, from a very obvious place like something like this, where this is a simple hand uh, this is a thrown mug with, but you, you got to make a handle and a handle is always hand built. So um, you cross over and you do different things. So uh, we will be exploring ceramics. Uh, we'll be exploring all the possibilities of clay. It is a wonderfully creative uh, activity as we explore our potential as ceramic artists. We do it as a community together. Um, this whole uh, Canvas page is just here as your resource. I will be using it in one occasion to have you uh, report on the reading that I have you do. I'll have you do a little bit of reading, um, and so I'll direct you to that when the time is appropriate. But primarily, this serves as a way for me to get you information you might need, um, maybe save a few trees, and um, and it's here, but you won't be required to actually um, do projects and report on them through here. All your projects and reporting, we're in face-to-face -face world again, hallelujah. And so we will be working together um, at school. Uh, and this is just a supplement here for you to help you with your, um, to, to offer uh, sometimes handouts or, uh, put down lectures that I've done in class or lectures, additional supplemental kinds of information that you might like. There's also places here for you to introduce yourself and, and so that all of you can uh, get a little bit of sense, put in a profile so everybody knows who everybody is. Um, there's a place for that. There's also a place for you to put in quotations, which you'll be doing throughout the semester. So that's a lot of uh, what's going on. In hand building, we have three levels. And in wheel throwing, we have three levels. And those levels are beginning, intermediate, and then what we call design or sort of the advanced level of ceramics. Um, in hand building, you might start with something very simple like here. This is a little, um, this is a little sake cup you can see, uh, very small, delicate. Um, it's really a lovely uh, piece, and it's this one of the basic rules is that, you know, we're taught in America that bigger is better, but it turns out bigger is bigger and better is better, and that's what we're striving for is always better. So this is a little bit of a um, pinched and then carved. Um, form, which I will show you how to make in class. So that's what this is. Um, you know, in the wheel throwing, we might try something uh, this similar. Here is a thrown uh, little sake cup, kind of a different kind of foot. Um, and you can see here, I'm getting very playful with um, underglazes, which I will show you. These are speedball underglazes. And I paint a little bird and he says, hot, hot, hot. Uh, and then maybe some abstract markings. Uh, this is, you know, so you get to learn a little bit about surfaces and you uh, forms. This is a very comfortable little uh, drinking vessel here. Um, so that's that's something that you may play with if you're on the wheel. Um, I'll show you a few things that I have gathered around me here. We can step it up a little bit in the hand building with, say, what's called a, a wrap pot. This is a um, this is a uh, just a, a casual drinking cup, um, the kind that you might uh, you could well you, anything you drink. You could drink water, milk, beer. Um, the Japanese will often drink uh, a green tea, a kind of everyday sencha green tea out of this throughout the day. Uh, this kind of form. And this is hand built. It's a slab that's wrapped around a cylinder. And then uh, after that, it's 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 shaped to kind of distort it a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting to the eye and to the hand. So that's what this is. And here's a taller version. This would be like a same same idea, a textured and then wrapped slab here. Um, it's a, a kind of a narrow tumbler, which I really enjoy drinking out of. So, and there are many different surfaces. You saw the slip decorated surfaces. The, those are um, uh, wood fired uh, surfaces. Here's a little interesting thing. This is another kind of pinch pot. So this little sake cup is a pinch pot right here. 
And this is a, an amazing little pinch pot made by Melody Nix, uh, one of my favorite little pieces here. Uh, Melody Nix, will, you'll probably meet her. She's uh, often an assistant to us, an uh, assistant teacher for the class. This it has a little stopper that goes in the top. And I just love this. See how delicate the top is, kind of a floral pattern. All of this is done with the pinch technique and with the central lesson that I think we have to learn in this class, which is if you focus on something with enough care and attention and delicacy and you pay attention, you can really create very, very powerful forms. And while everything kind of starts looking out pretty dumpy and ugly, um, that's my experience. 80% of the way when you get started with something, it looks terrible. But as you progress, it looks better and better and better. So um, this is uh, here. Let me show you this one here. This is a um, uh, from a, an assignment that we call the ravioli pot. And this assignment is kind of simple. Uh, it sits like this, and it's a lidded pot, as you can see. And you could actually use this for tea, for wine, for sake. This is a, a pouring vessel, and um, and. The, the assignment that this one comes from is called the ravioli pot. And it's a really simple idea. You cut out a shape and you can see the shape that this pot was. It's kind of a kind of a crescent shaped. And so you cut out a, 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 a um, silhouette in paper. Um, and then the assignment is you have to make three pots from that silhouette. You cut out two pieces and you build a pot with those. You put them together like a ravioli or like an envelope. And then you develop it, you build it out. You might add feet, uh, you might add some ornaments. These are called ears. Um, here, we call them lugs in Japan. They call them mimi or ears. You might decide to have a lid. Um, you make all these various decisions which will make your piece unique. And that's what the assignment is. The assignment is that you pick a silhouette and then you make three pots from that silhouette. And each one of those pots will be absolutely uh, unique. Uh, so you won't repeat the same pot. You'll have the same shape to start with, but you'll add maybe a taller neck or a feet or a ring for a foot. Here's a, an example of that assignment again. Again, a pouring vessel. In this case, um, it's a little, it's a different silhouette. So this was a different set of three that I did. A similar texture pattern, which I'll show you how to make. Um, and uh, kind of a lovely um, little pouring pot that you could use. Um, and so again, the idea is you start with a slab, uh, you cut out, um, that's a flat piece of clay, you cut out this silhouette on it, and then you do that twice and you put them together at the edges and puff them out and start making a pot. And then if you work slowly, carefully, delicately, um, this is the thing is that you have this capacity to really create something um, uh, quite elegant with attention and energy. So there's an example of uh, that assignment. Um, the On the wheel, you'll be learning how to make, uh, initially you'll start with cylinders and then you'll go from there to bowls. And then it starts to expand rather rapidly into other forms. I'll show you some examples. Here's uh, later on, you do have to make a lidded vessel. And this is a, a teapot design of mine, this tripod teapot with the, with the swirling handle. And you can see it has a lid on it, which is part of the assignment, which is to make, you have to, you don't have to make a teapot, but you do have to make a vessel with a lid on it. That's an assignment that we have. So you can see there's all kinds of possibilities in this class. Here's another uh, wrap pot on a larger scale. We'll start to show you a few things with a larger scale here. Here's a, a large piece here. Oh, I don't even know if I can fit this in the camera. I have to get back. Here's a, a piece um, and it's a lidded vessel again. Uh, and this is also the hand builders have to make a lidded vessel and I demonstrate how to do this. And this lid fits right on. And you can see I've got a rather ornate knob. It's more of a sculpture here with the three hawk topping there, I call that. Shad hawk, me hawk, and a hawk to go. Um, that's just a weird little title, but you can see there's lots of possibilities. Let me show you a few more here. This is a coil built project, and this comes from a later one of your final assignments. You can see there's quite a large piece here. Again, another pouring vessel. This one originated from Iran. This is a uh, prehistoric or pre industrial uh, design from Iran, and you can see it's. Uh, it is a pouring vessel. And this one was coil built. Um, 
and hand, completely hand-built. Um, and the assignment is that you pick any ancient culture. So it can be Iranian, it can be Mayan, Aztec, it can be Chinese, uh, it can be uh, Eastern European, whatever your ancient culture is that you pick, then you search online, you search ancient Mayan pottery. And then you'll get lots of images and you search through those images and you look for something that is um, an animal or human form. It has to be animal or human form. And then you, you get a picture of that and you use that as your launching point, your inspiration. Here's another pot here. You can see this is kind of a very textured piece here. There's a, you can kind of get a sense of it. And this pot is actually um, a mixture of hand building and wheel throwing. It's made on a wheel, but it's coil built on the wheel. So it's actually, it's not really completely thrown. It's, it's a mixture of the hand building and throwing techniques. Very powerful technique. One of my favorites that I look forward to developing more. Here's another one of those animal assignments. I have lots of these around. So there is a list of assignments that you'll go through. Uh, this is again from that assignment of finding an ancient culture. This is another Iranian pot. So one of my favorite cultures to, to uh, kind of look at when I'm doing this assignment. They have lots of amazing animal forms and they have lots of amazing, um, uh, they have even some human forms. And um, so there's that. And um, you can find this literally any culture you look at, African, uh, cultures and uh, Chinese cultures and Japanese cultures. You just search for um, ancient, put in your culture, pottery, uh, and you'll find examples for that. So those are some of the things we're doing. Primarily, I'm just trying to show you a range of things to say, we're going to make some beautiful things. We're going to learn technique. And we're going to learn a lot about who you are as an artist, what it is that you want to express, how you express yourself creatively, how you face um, new situations and, and develop from those. And so all of these are the subject matter, how to work well with a, uh, a, a like-minded community of artists. That's what we'll be doing. All of this we'll do together. And I really look forward to the privilege and the joy of working with you. So. Looking forward to uh, meeting you very soon.